If you're still in champion select and you can pick a champion, go for someone like Ziggs so you can dodge Ori's burst or knock her away from you if things get sticky. Syndra because you have very similar playstyles with the slight difference that you outdamage her from level 5 onwards. Or Diana since you can all in her at level 6 even if you are at least 75 HP and you can hit a Q before engaging. Zed, Ari and LeBlanc have an easy time because of their increased mobility too. In case you didn't know, Orianna's passive makes her autos hit for a ton, so be careful not to let her auto attack and trades too much. You won't believe their damage. Ori's Q makes her ball move and this ability is usually maxed first so that the cooldown drops as low as 3 seconds. Her W releases an electric pulse wherever her ball is, giving her movement speed and lowering enemies that get hit. Her E moves the ball to an ally or herself for a small shield, but this is mainly used on bruisers when they engage so that her ball gets to a nice position in the team fight. Make sure to pay close attention to bruisers and tanks with the ball on them. Her ultimate pulls everyone in wherever her ball is and if used with Q and W will proc Thunderlords. Her combo is pretty much just Q to a nice place or E to an ally and W ult afterwards. If you can force her to E W on herself, her teamfight potential drops immensely. Apart from the obvious flash, Orianas tend to be quite defensive when it comes to spells, preferring to bring ghost, heal or barrier. Make sure you're not baited by one of the latter when you go for the kill. And remember to make use of Flash's high 5 minute cooldown to engage her since she has quite low mobility. Exhaust and Ignite are two nice choices versus her. As for her power spikes, they're pretty simple. Six is an obvious power spike because she'll get really good kill potential with her ultimate. But before that, she has a pretty interesting level 1 because of her increased auto attack damage. Levels 11 and 16, whenever she puts another skill point towards her ultimate, are other power spikes too. Items like Ludens and Rabadons will make you cry whenever she finishes them, so look out for that and the 20 to 25 minute mark is when she can truly shine. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, be careful where her ball is, dodge her ultimate, engage when her flash is down and ultimately have fun doing it.